What's going on? What brings you in? So, I was diagnosed with scoliosis, I think, when I was 13. Okay. And I never had any sort of pain growing up. Um, I feel like the older that I got, the less I exercised, the more pain I had. So, exercise is like the only thing that alleviates the pain, I would say. Gotcha. So, I try not to stay like too stagnant ever. But my main concern is like the aesthetics of it. Like the symmetry really bothers me. Gotcha. Um, I notice that like this rib pops out more than this. Okay. And that like changes the hip dimensions. Yep. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if you could help with that, but I'm willing to try anything at this point. Okay. And I know, so you like marked off more middle and lower back. Yeah. And hips is where kind of issues would be at for you. Okay. Yes. Um, let me have you stand up. Okay. And I just want to run through some range of motion. I want you to bend forward at the waist. Any pain with that? No. Okay. I'm come back. Any issues with that? No. Good. Lean up to the sides. Any issue there? No. Oh. And rotate. Okay. Have you had chiropractic care before? No. So first time getting chiropractic care? Yeah. Uh, face that way for me. Okay. So right in through here. Actually, let me have you face the wall that way. Good. Okay, so it's right in through here where, you, where that scoliosis is. Mm -hmm. And, okay, so you can tell. So I know mom, you're yeah. in here. So, yeah, you see how it's it's got that curve like this right in through here and then coming down. Um, let me have you bend forward at the waist. So when you bend forward, okay, you see how the left side goes in, right side stays out. So and even with the, with that rib cage, I know that's one of the things that you notice where you're saying like aesthetically with that rib cage. Right. Um, stand up for me. Okay. Yeah. Where this, this side of the rib cage is coming back and this side is coming oh, forward. Right. Yep, okay. But it's not causing any pain or anything like that. Right, thankfully. Yes, which is a good thing. Yeah, because I know it could be a lot worse, but... Okay. Yeah. No, it, it definitely can be, but... Yeah. Good thing, no pain. Yeah. But, all right, let me have you lay face down on the table for me. I always start off, just want to scan the body. So I'm going to take a look at the leg length here. So honestly, right now, the right leg just pulls a little bit shorter than the left. It's not a like a crazy difference or anything. Hips are level, which is a good thing. But yeah, that's the one thing that you you still can tell. So yeah, even when you're laying right in through here, that right side is raised, where that left side is lowered. Okay. And then, like you were saying, you guys found out when she, like when you were a kid. Yeah. Let me know if there's any pain or tenderness with this. Okay. No issues with that? Okay. Yeah, so what's happening, so I'm gonna show your mom first. I'm gonna lay uh, a model spine on your back real quick. So, yes. that's what's happening right now. So you got that right side is raising up and you're getting that, that scoliosis over here. It's rotated in this way. That's why you're getting that, that rib cage higher on the right and then lower on that left side. Um, here, look up for me real quick. So it's going like this. So the curve would be like that and it's rotating. It's almost twisting like this. That's why that right side, I was just saying, is back, and that left side is forward. Okay. So that's what's happening here.
Let me have you take a deep breath in and out. Okay, and again, deep breath in and out. So what I want to do, while well, I got you laying right here, so I want to get some drops on that right side so we can drive that rib cage so we can rotate it and bring it back being level or as level as we can get it. So the table's going to come off. arm up here. Good. There we go. Lay face down again for me please. From here, I want to check the sacrum. So I'm going to have you raise your right leg up for me. Any pain with that? Uh-uh. Good. And relax. Raise the left leg up. Any pain with that? Yeah. Good. And relax. Okay. And that top knee. Good. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. Scoot a little bit closer to me. Perfect with that. Okay. Lay on your back for me. Relax this leg for me. Good. There we go. Okay. And let me have you scoot up just a little bit. Actually, you should be good right there. All right, so on the first time how I was, when you were flipped over, mm -hmm. we were bringing, drop, doing the drops on this side, coming down. So now the left side is the one that comes forward, so I wanna do drops that way. Okay. Trust me, I know they're not the most comfortable. <laughs> they really aren't, but it will, it will help. That's okay. what you need. Let's go a little lighter on these.
come on up. Because with that side, driving that back the other way, mm -hmm. bringing that forward. I know they're awkward because it's the entire like, yeah. rib cage like right. that, but. Take a deep breath in and out. And relax. Let your hands, yep, just rest. Lift up. I'm nervous for this part. <laughs> oh gosh. I know. You know the thing is though, honestly, it looks scarier when watching it. Is on this YouTube. worse than the draw? <laughs> <laughs> No, no answer. <laughs> oh no! Actually, actually, those those drops there, they're not comfortable, especially getting your. Is this worse? No. <laughs> okay. No, I would actually say the the those rib drops. Okay. Yeah, those are oh, those are really uncomfortable. Oh wow. What did you feel? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> I don't. It, it's kind of like tense. I'm not. I don't know. It hurt a little bit. <laughs> My neck feels a little bit. Um. Oh, she's gonna like feel stiff. tomorrow. Sore? Oh no. She could feel a little sore. <clears throat> yeah. I feel sore now, not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but tomorrow is. Forget tomorrow. <laughs> to make it through today. But yeah, just rest. Like my neck feels more like mobile, I would say, but it just it's a little painful. That was a big movement, obviously. Yeah. How far down did you feel that go? Um not too far. I'd say like maybe here. Okay. Yeah. So upper back? Yeah, really like right here, like all oh, like my cervical. Back area. Okay. All right, come on up for me first. I want to use that massager on you. And the first one is probably worse than than this one. Yeah, um, during it, I think the first one was worse. My neck hurts <laughs> in the back a little bit more this time. Yeah, we just gotta relax all the muscles now, because obviously your body's not used to getting decompressed. Yeah. As it just did. But yeah, just relax for me first. Yeah, I know, right in through here. Mm -hmm. We just want to create that change, 
get that get the ribs starting to go a little bit more like this mm -hmm. there's the whole goal so bringing those down bringing these forward yeah come on up it's a, a CBD and menthol just so we can help relax the muscles up here Feel. Karen, I know you weren't really in yeah. the pain or anything Yeah, they're like not that. pain for now because my neck a little bit, but everything else is, I mean, good. I don't feel that different. I don't know. How does the, how does the posture feel? Better. Good. Like, through here. Mm -hmm. It feels better to, like, less, like, breathing easier, I guess. Okay. Yeah. That's a good thing. It's just my neck hurts a little bit, but... Neck's all, yeah. yeah. It's just from getting decompressed like that, but yeah, even like bend forward and backwards. So I know obviously... Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, obviously another one visit isn't gonna, yeah. you know, miraculously mm -hmm. make that straight. Right. So straight. Um, but it's a step into the direction, mm -hmm. and then also so I'm gonna go over some strengthening. Okay as well because I know you like to say you feel better when you're at the gym and staying active right so I'll go over things with you as well with that and anything I could do to like keep this in check mm -hmm. yeah yep perfect